This video tutorial will guide you through the daily closing steps in My Vision Express 2014. The daily closing will allow users to close transactions and payments to prevent them from being modified or deleted. You'll be able to verify deposit totals for all or individual stations, perform multiple closings per day and or stations, correct variances in deposits while also recording the reason for any variance, and finally, you'll be able to print or save a bank deposit slip report with media accounts. The benefits per processing the daily closing is that you'll have accurate accounts receivable and you'll also be preventing employee theft by locking transactions. Enabling and processing daily closing. To enable the daily closing module, go to File, Setup, Company Information, then go to the Location Settings tab. Check the daily closing box. A message will appear advising you that any previous order items and payments will be closed except the ones added on the current day. Do you want to continue? Press yes to enable the daily closing module. Then click the save button and restart My Vision Express. To access the daily closing, go to Tools, Maintenance, Daily Closing. You can choose to process a closing for a single station or for all stations. Choose the posting date and then click on the new button to process a new closing. The total payments will display for any open items that were created on the selected stations or date. You can view the details for any open items by clicking the details button. Enter an amount for each payment method in the Amounts Entered column. For cash and or checks, you can use the Media Accounts button located to the right of the screen. When you click on the Media Accounts button during a new closing, you will get two messages. The first will say, Setting the Media Accounts requires the closing record to save. Saving will not close any items and adjustments can still be made. Would you like to continue? It's okay to press yes. It will save the closing, but not close the items. The next message will ask you, would you like to autofill the check's payment details below? Note, the check payment details will overwrite any existing data. If you accepted any checks for that day, you can click on yes, and it will autofill the check media account for you. It will enter a check number and an amount. For cash, enter the number of bills and coins to obtain a total. Enter the remaining values in their corresponding field. If a variance exists, use the drop down under the variance reasons to enter a reason. You can also use the notes field to type in more details. In the drop down, the only reason that you will see is over short. This one comes with My Vision Express. You can add more reasons to that drop down by going to File, Setup, Categories. Then search in the left column under Category Group for Variance Reasons. Once you find it, select it, and to the right, you'll be able to add more category items. Just click on the Add button and type in the name of the new category item. Once you are done, click on the Save button on the toolbar and close out. Now you will be able to see the extra variance reasons in that drop-down that you entered. You are now ready to process your daily closing. Click on the Process Closing button. A message will appear to make sure you want to process the closing. Click on Yes to process or No to cancel. Once you press Yes, the daily closing will have processed. You can use the Adjust button to make adjustments in the amounts entered. Remember, only administrators will have the ability to make adjustments in a locked closing. You can process the daily closing more than once in a day for all stations and or individual stations if your office has different shifts. Every time you process a closing and save it, when you go back into the daily closing screen, you can see at what time the last closing was processed in the posting section 
under the posting date. Bank deposit slip report and daily closing report. After completing a daily closing successfully, click on the bank deposit slip button to the right to generate a report with media accounts to be deposited. You will have the option to print this report or to save it. You can also print or save a daily closing report. Just click on the print button underneath the bank slip button. Post closing procedures. You can identify that an order is locked in the quick order itself because you'll notice that in the charges section down below, you'll see that the line items are grayed out. You will also see a lock between the more button and the payments button right here. Also, to identify a lock transaction in the checkout module, if you search the order, you will notice that the order itself down below shows that it's locked in red letters. Remember, only administrators will have the capability to unlock any orders or payments. To unlock an order, just click on the lock between the More button and the Payments button. The Allow Changes window will open up, asking you if you want to make changes to sensitive details. Click on Yes to unlock and make the necessary changes. Once again, remember, only administrators will have the capability to make any changes to a locked order. To give unlocking privilege to your employees, go to File, Setup, Employees, find the employee, and in the Details section, make sure you check in the Administrator box. This will give unlocking privileges to your employees. Once you check in the box, save and close. Finally, to adjust the daily closing, just go back to the daily closing by going to Tools, Maintenance, Daily Closing. Go to the posting date, click on the adjust button, find where the mistake is, and adjust. You'll notice your variance and enter the reason why. Click on the save button. It will let you know that the daily closing was saved successfully and close. This concludes the training video. Thank you for watching My Vision Express 2014 Daily Closing Process.